This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Ohio Farm Bureau members. For nearly 100 years, Ohio Farm Bureau has been bringing people together. Join us in the journey. Together. Together. Together with farmers. Jackie O's Pub and Brewery in Athens is taking sustainability to the next level. From their production facility to the farm, Jackie O's is reducing their carbon footprint to help keep the environment clean for generations to come. I started my own business, I think because my father was an entrepreneur and I saw that grown up through my whole life. My friend Lenny and I always wanted to buy a bar and we bought the brew pub in 2005. Unfortunately, my mother was diagnosed with cancer in early 2006. Now, my mom's name was Jackie Ostrike, and she was kind of diagnosed with stage four cancer. I was straight off the bat. It was Mother's Day that year. I told her, hey, mom, I'm going to name this place Jackie O's Pub and Brewery, and she was kind of like a bar. And I was like, well, it's going to be a lot more than that, mom, but yes. Um, so in early 2007, we named the place Jackie O's Pub and Brewery. In 2009, we uh, purchased the bar next door, which was called Skipper's. Moved kind of our restaurant operation and our kitchen over to that facility, which allowed us to expand. So we added three more fermenters, and we got to experiment with a lot more things, create a lot more beers. We then got our larger brewing facility in December of 2011 and started brewing there in February of 2013. We've seen a lot of growth over the past four years and uh, it's pretty exciting to see where we are today from our kind of humble beginnings. Everything starts with grain. Primarily we use two row barley. So we will use that kind of as our base malt. And then we can maybe add in a little bit of caramel malt to add a light sweetness or maybe some white wheat to give it a slightly different character. We then bring it to a boil and add hops after the boil, we then move it into the fermentation vessels where uh, yeast is waiting. From there, we then move the beer into what we call a bright tank, which is where the beer becomes clear and all the flavors kind of come together. During the canning process, the cans are pushed onto a conveyor belt. We then fill the can with beer. A lid is placed on top and then it is seamed onto the can. The can is then rinsed, dried, and then a six pack top is put onto it. And shortly after that, it makes its way into the market. The beer that goes into the barrels uh, has gone through fermentation. It's kind of found its nice resting spot. From there, it then is placed into barrels where it will then age for at least about a year, sometimes even longer, upwards of maybe three to four years. We have 30 different beers on draft all the time. Hands down our most popular beer is Mystic Mama. That is our West Coast styled IPA. It's about 60% of, of what we brew. IPAs are huge right now and they have been for years. Raz Wheat, our raspberry wheat is another big seller for us as well. But then when you get into some of the more specialty beers like Dark Apparition, our Russian Imperial style that has a large following and sells very well. And then a lot of these kind of specialty barrel age products. We were able to pick up a 20 acre farm out in, near Shade, Ohio. We've gotten fresh produce from the farm for a number of years to serve in our restaurant and also to help out with the brew pub and the making of some of the beers there. The farm has progressed leaps and bounds since I've been here. Every year we've grown exponentially. We've got all different kinds of head lettuce, kale, chard, pak choy, bok choy, tot soy, all sorts of different Asian greens, mustard greens, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower. We grow hops here. We've just started growing those within the last two years. We've got one bed that's two years old, one bed that's one year old. We grow probably upwards of six to eight different varieties. Everything we grow goes straight up to the restaurant, the fruits and stuff like that, and the herbs that they're interested in will go up to the brewery for beer. We try to incorporate whatever they have in season in our menu. Mostly we either use it as a side dish or is the veggie of the day, or if it's um, spinach or kind of stuff, we can sometimes we put them in our pizzas or we can just put them in a wrap or like the lettuce mix, we create a salad with that. 
I think it's very important to source locally because we want to help the people around us. And that's a very strong culture and trying to preserve what we do locally, which sometimes some of those values have been lost because of the globalization and the big productions. Sustainably crafted with purpose. I'm a firm believer in taking care of our planet. Okay, over the past several hundred years, humans have not necessarily taken care of our planet. Sustainability has been really important to what we do. We were able to secure a REAP grant through USDA, and there's 298 solar panels up on the roof, all facing south, and that generates about 40% on average of the energy usage that we use at this facility. We chose cans because cans are more easily recycled. We made a conscientious effort to brew beer and to keep it within the state of Ohio. 97% of our beer stays in the state of Ohio, thereby reducing the carbon footprint on beer shipping all over the place. There's great beer all over the country. We want to be that beer in Ohio. So as for sustainability on the farm, we do as much as we can. Every year we're trying to do a little bit more in that direction. This year we're experimenting a little bit more with lighter tilling, not tilling as deep into the soil as we used to. This year we're using hand tillers as opposed to a tractor in previous years, so that would normally go down 12 inches or so, and now we're going down four to six, so that will not disrupt the microbial life as much. We choose not to spray any herbicides or pesticides whatsoever, ever. So the way that we are able to combat the insects and all that stuff, we, we plant much more than the average person would if they were spraying. We use diversity as a tactic, so we, we plant several different varieties of any one particular crop to make sure that we get something out of it. We really believe in giving people ownership of what they do. We have also divided everything up so that everybody has their specialty or their area of expertise. We work hard together and we also play together, and that's something that we can't like really make people do. It's awesome that it's worked out that way. When people come to Jackie O's, we really want them to feel comfortable and welcome within our doors. It's really important that we create that sense of home within our facilities. Jackie O's has grown tenfold in 11 years, and it's been a little bit of a wild ride. I still get goosebumps when I think about where we've come and where we are today. In 2005, we had six employees, and today we have 120. It's so humbling and rewarding that we have all this going on today. And I can't thank our supporters around Ohio enough for, for all that you've done and all the support we've been given throughout all these, these years. If you love Our Ohio Television, then you'll enjoy being an Our Ohio supporter. For just $25, you can enjoy Our Ohio Magazine support Ohio food and farms, and stay connected to what's happening in your community. Visit supportourohio.org.